How to Build a Rainwater Collection System. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Waste not, want not. Isn't that what they say? Oh, well, they like to talk a lot, but sometimes they're right, especially when it comes to water. The average person wastes about 30 gallons of water every day. Building a rainwater collection system could save you up to a third of your total water usage in your yard. Here's how to do it. You will need a paint strainer, a five gallon bucket, a 55 gallon drum with a lid, downspout fittings, a gutter strainer, three cinder blocks, a three quarter inch spigot with a one quarter inch turnball valve, a permanent black marker, a jigsaw, a power drill with a 7 8 inch spade bit, a half round bastard file, a utility knife, and one and one quarter inch galvanized wood screws. Step one, cut a bucket. The top of your rainwater collection system is made by cutting the top off of a five gallon bucket. With your 7 8 inch spade bit already attached to your power drill, put a hole in the side of the five gallon bucket to get your jigsaw rolling and cutting easily. Use your permanent marker on the top of the five gallon bucket and trace around the top of the 55 gallon drum. Just like you cut the starter hole on the five gallon bucket, use your drill with a 7 8 inch spade bit and put a hole in the top of the 55 gallon drum. Follow the guideline around the top of the barrel. The top of the five gallon bucket should fit snug in the opening of the 55 gallon drum. Step two, spout it out. No one likes a leaky spout, especially when the whole point of your rainwater collection system is to reduce the amount of wasted water. A sure way to get your spout to fit nice and tight into the bottom of your 55 gallon drum is to drill a hole using your 7 8 inch spade bit. Then take your half round bastard file and file down the inside of the hole until you have a nice fit and can screw the 3 quarter inch spigot in securely. When you have a good fit, set your drum up on the cinder blocks. Step 3. In the gutter. Using the existing downspout from your gutters, add an extension to run down into the collection barrel. Any hardware store will carry a variety of extensions and fittings for this. Make sure to save the receipt so you can return any of the unused fittings. Measure and mark where you need to cut the fitting so that the end will run into the top of your rainwater collection barrel. Most fittings are made of flexible plastic and can be cut with a utility knife. It may be necessary to use a splice to fit the end of your existing downspout into the extension. Push these two pieces together until they're nice and snug. Use brackets to secure the fittings to the side of your house. Step 4. A proper fit. Before retiring your jigsaw for the day, you need to cut a hole in the lid of your 5 gallon bucket as this will keep large objects from falling into the collection barrel. Measure around the opening of your drain and use the 7 8 inch spade bit to drill a starter hole. Cut the remainder of the lid with your jigsaw and place the lid on the top of the bucket to check for a proper fit. Step 5. Strain the drain. Standing water can be a haven for mosquitoes. An important thing to keep in mind when putting together your rainwater collection system is to make sure and secure a paint strainer to the top of the bucket. This will keep large objects and mosquitoes from getting into the barrel and spoiling your water supply. To prevent any collected organic matter from hanging too far into the rain barrel, tie a knot in the strainer before installing it in the lid. It's also a good idea to place a gutter strain in the open gutter on your roof to keep large debris from making its way down the fittings and potentially clogging the gutters. A rainwater collection system not only helps your plants and your pocketbook, but it's so much fun you may never need to recruit help around the yard again. Done.